Hi guys, cooking with Crystal. How are you? Are you all doing okay? Hope you all are keeping safe. Today, I'm going to prepare a very simple lunch. I more or less sort of cook when I feel like eating. I don't cook like, you know, on a particular day. I make a particular type of dish and so on. No. So, I just had lunch actually. <laughs> but it was leftovers. And, of course, you know, I, I forget about the fact to cook today or tomorrow. And I chose to cook today because I want to relax tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, what I fell for was mashed potatoes, like creamy mashed potatoes. I'm going to show you how I prepare that. And stewed pork. And, of course, I like to have a little color. And, you know, be on the healthy side as well. So, while I have my staples and protein, I like to have my veggies as well. So, these are some blanched veggies that I am... Um, then I have here mainly um, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and sweet peppers. So it's going to be creamy mashed potatoes, nice golden brown stewed pork, and uh, veggies. Um, in the end, I'll do garlic butter veggies. That's like my favorite way of doing veggies, right? Garlic and butter. And of course, I have some ruku right here, which is made from anato. And I'm going to add that to, um, to the pork while it's stewing gives it a really nice golden color all right guys so yeah that's it today basic lunch simple meal to prepare all on the stove and oh in the corner of course you have a seasoning block and a pimento block the pork was slightly seasoned with season salt and one of my seasoning block but i like to add a bit of seasoning now two two um, ways i add my seasoning while i'm cooking i either add it when i'm you know when i'm when i'm starting the pot uh, or I would add a seasoning block at the end of the pot, like when I turn off the stove. Um, or I might do it both times. So yeah, we're going to get started. I'm going to wash these potatoes and peel them, cut them up, and I'm going to put them to boil in a bit of salt water, and I'm going to start this stew pork. Alright guys, so stay tuned, cooking with Crystal. Hey! <laughs> Alright guys, so today's um, stew method, I'm just using the sugar alone. Oh, it's a matter block, so I know I forgot something. So I'm just using the sugar alone, and I'm going to allow that to caramelize before I put in the pork. And the potatoes are just about ready, so I'm going to drain that and show you how I prepare my potatoes. But I'm going to, um, I'm definitely going to do the, um, the stew pork first because I don't want my sugar to burn. So you see it's just caramelizing on its own. Normally I put a bit of oil, but it's, it's very much optional. You don't have to. Alright, so just going to give this just about a minute again to get fully caramelized. Definitely ready. You see how the outside is a darker color and the inside you can always use a spoon and stir it around, but this is fine for me. So I'm going to pour in the pork. And I'm just going to make sure everyone it's flat in the pot and I'm going to cover this so I like about two minutes so that um, you know let the pork absorb the brownness of the sugar and so on and I'm going to toss it around again and then I'm going to add the ruku and also a nice step as well the water from the, from the potatoes I'm going to use that as my liquid because it's already starchy and you know I'm going to use back some of the potato water so that's another um, that's a little tip right here when you're cooking and you need liquid, once you have like pasta boiling or rice or vegetables or provision, you can use the liquid to, um, I'll give this a stir right now. You can use the liquid to, um, to add to your, um, to whatever meat you're cooking once, once it requires liquid, of course. Alright? So I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook up for like about a minute again and then I'm going to, I can add the roux right now also. Yeah, I'm crazy. Alright. Give this a little stir. Then it get well coated. Well mixed up. This smells so nice right now. You see the seasoning is very important. And if you don't have um you don't have to add frozen seasoning, you can add freshly cut um chopped seasoning if you prefer. It's all the same to me. You're seeing it on the spoon there, right? So I'm going to cover this and allow this to um, cook up some more and then I'm going to add some of the water from the potatoes. 
Okay, so the pork is coming in really nicely. I've added four tomato blocks and I'm gonna add enough of the potato water. Yeah, just enough to cover it. And of course, taste for salt if you need to add um, any more salt or seasoned salt, whichever, um, whichever you use to flavor your pot. You're gonna taste that and add um, enough salt to suit and allow this to bubble down really nicely. Now the pork is cut up really small, so it's not gonna take, well it shouldn't take as long to cook as um, a big slab will take to bake. I have no idea what a big slab has to do with these pieces, but anyway. <laughs> um, if you look there as well, you're gonna see little ginger skin pieces floating around. When I do the seasoning, when I make my seasoning, I partially scrape the ginger. I don't fully scrape up the skin because a lot of the flavor and the strength of the ginger is in the skin. So you're getting a really nice flavor here. So let me allow this to um to cook up and we're gonna start on the mashed potatoes. Alright guys, so when I say I like my potatoes creamy, I mean whipped creamy. Alright, so in here I have the potatoes. I've added a generous amount of butter. <laughs> uh, approximately two ounces. And of course I have some milk on standby. I put a pinch of salt in there as well. Alright, the milk, I don't really measure. I just look at the creaminess and I'll know how much milk I'll need to add. So at this point I'm just going to add just a bit. Probably just about a tablespoon. And I allow this to beat and get to the texture where it's going to be not like this. So some people like it like this where it's just kind of um, starchy. But I like it completely creamy. I'm going to up the speed to two and I'm going to add another tablespoon of milk. And just scrape down the sides and uh, yeah, allow, it to, allow this to whip for like, I'm going to say about three minutes. Alright, and you're going to see how the texture is going to change. You're already seeing it changing and the color changes as well. It gets really um, white. Um, well, at first it looks sort of transparent, not completely. <laughs> but here you're going to see a change in the texture and the color. Alright, so let me sweep down the sides and allow it to mix some more. And I'm going to show you how it comes out after. I love to do my mashed potatoes in the mixer. Alright guys, so I've started the process for the garlic butter veggies. I also put a bit of salt on top of there. Yeah. So, coat the pot with a touch of oil, just a bit. So coat it, I put the butter and I put the garlic. Now I'm not going to allow the garlic to get really brown as it is in the corner here. So this is a good time to toss in the vegetables. And of course, you can use a tongs or a spoon, you can flip the pot if you like. Not literally flip the pot. <laughs> not necessarily mean flip the pot. <laughs> but um, you know, toss around the veggies so that everyone get, um, gets well coated. And yeah, this is going to take just about two minutes because if the are already bland, you don't need much cooking and it's better to have your veggies out there so you're close to raw so yeah so I'm gonna allow this to I'm gonna check about a minute I'm gonna probably toss it up in between but I'm gonna let it like fry for two minutes because I like everything well coated and well fried well not really much of fried because it's a bit of butter but you get me, alright? let me see how the pork is doing Yep, we're getting there. Alright, a bit of steaming in there, but oh, we're, really get, we're getting there. See, I got some spill over on the stove, just leaking off of the cover. If it's love, yeah. Alright, guys, so next up we'll be plating after the arm. Um, after the sauce so in the pork has reduced and the pork is well cooked as um of course and yeah we're gonna get the plate right what i meant when i say toasty pot <laughs> all right guys almost done all right so at this point the pork is cooked so i took the cover off and i'm gonna this will take any cover off and allow the sauce to reduce faster right so yeah just a moment of uh, about a minute again until i'll be good to go to eat because i'm hungry again it's my food and I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Guys, we are out. We are ready. It's done. Of course, um, for my sweet potato, I put it in um, bell pepper. That looks really pretty, right? Look at it. 
Yeah, so cooking with Crystal today, we did cream potatoes, garlic butter veggies, and stewed pork. And this right here is ready to get in my tummy. I'm just gonna put a bit of pepper sauce on this and it's good to go. Like pepper and pork is the real thing, right? Yeah, so feel free to like, subscribe, share if you wish, leave me a comment. It's up to you and definitely try this. It's a really nice combination. Yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>